Hey guys, I'm repping the Orlando City shirt because they won last week, Forever Our City. But it's not soccer season here, it's football season, and that's what we're here for. Uh, like Jeff Smith said last week um, to Sachs after the Panthers won, it's not about last week's games, it's about this week. This is when the region play starts. The important games are here, so let's get to it. So we're going to play some rapid fire with Will, ask him some questions, give him answers. So let's do it. Um, best matchup. Um, the ja Sacks Jacksonville game. You know, Jacksonville's come off, uh, you know, two good wins. Um, but you know, like Clint Smith at Jacksonville said last week, just like Coach Smith at Wilburn, you know, it's you know, those wins don't matter as much anymore. You got to you got to make it happen in uh, in region play. Um, you know, Sacks has got a lot of talent. Um, I don't think Jacksonville's beaten them in a couple of years. So you know, it's going to be uh, should be a good a good matchup. Uh, what's the best cure game? Um, Ohatchee Randolph County. I think could be you know a really good game. Ohatchee started the season on fire. Um, you know, Taylor Eubanks and uh, Austin Tucker you know just really putting up the yards. Um, you know playing well defensively. Randolph County was a two A semifinalist last year, um, so I, you know I'm pretty sure Ohatchee um, is wanting to uh, to prove they can make some noise in the region. But you know it's going to be on the road. It's going to be a tough game. So that should be that should be a good game. Speaking of Tucker and Eubanks, uh, which running duo? Has the best chance to finish with the most yards this week. So that's a tough one because there's some good running back duos in this in the county. A um, lot. You know, Eubanks and Tucker. Um, you know you got um, Nico Richmond and uh, Tay Akles at Jackson. We got Keenan Woodruff and Jamal Tucker at Alexandria. Taylor Hayes and Lee Stanley at Piedmont. Um, you know, all of them could have you know good weeks this week. But I, I like Woodruff and uh, and Tucker at Alexandria. This you know they. Um, Took a tough loss last week um, to Jacksonville, but I think they'll bounce back. And they had a good game last week. You know, Woodruff, you know, Woodruff really, you know, had some big plays. Right. Speaking of uh, teams that can bounce back this week, which team has the most to prove this week? Yeah, I think, I think Alexandria is going to want to bounce back. You know, I think you know last week they maybe um, uh, really felt like maybe they didn't play their best. Yeah. Um, Jacksonville did play their best, so. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, Alexandria against Arab, you know, will come back and bounce back. But you know, Aniston, I think they take a lot of confidence in that loss, uh, double overtime loss to Sylacauga. Um, I think they found, you know, a quarterback that can take over for uh, Saving Bethune, who went down uh, with an injury uh, in the Jamboree game. So you know, I think Aniston and Alexandria are both going to bounce back this week. Toughest game. Ohatchee um, going on the road to Randolph County. You know, I think that's going to be a tough game, but um, you know. It's going to be tough, but I think they can handle that. Pleasant Valley and Welburn, you know, I think Pleasant Valley, you know, 2-0 no start. Um, they're getting in the region play now, though. You know, Welburn's coming off a big win. So I think it's going to be, you know, a tough game on Pleasant Valley, too. Oh, wrap it up with a fun one real quick. Who, which game is most likely to be a blowout? I think Alexander's going to take care of business against A-Rap, you know. I think, that'll, I think that'll be a fun game to watch. All right, well, you heard it here first. Uh, Alexander's going to win by a lot, hopefully. But we'll see you guys on Friday.